Purity, Ethics and Boundaries The basic form of sensual energetic healing experience yin and yang fully clothed. Especially with energetic healing partners without a closer desire for a relationship, this simple and conscious limitation gives us inner security and a growing basic trust with each other. Many yin partners can breathe a sigh of relief. Many yang partners no longer need to attempt, they can also let go. So both can concentrate completely on the energetic and loving experience with each other. There is only feeling and holding and being. What wonderful moments of well-being we can experience in such a field of unconditional love, interwoven with our own breathing through our subtle heart center. Let us celebrate these moments in spiritual purity, loving honesty and togetherness. If after several long, intense and fully clothed SEH meditations the desire to feel more with each other awakens in two souls, this can happen step by step. In my follow-up book I describe a possible and safe sensual energetic path which is far away from the old young sex. Every energetic healing couple decides for themselves where to set their own boundaries with each other, in their own togetherness and within the allowed freedoms granted to each other. In many cases it helps to write down the common boundaries in order to have clarity and commitment with each other. We do not need to formulate a contract for this. A small piece of paper with a few keywords and both names is sufficient. The common ritual of writing down on a piece of paper gives support to all involved and it supports the inner self-responsibility that we should always feel and live from our heart. To ensure that experiencing SEH together always remains a safe and conscious experience for us, it should not be misunderstood as a potential invitation or expectation to have sex. This is sometimes easier said than practiced, because with a biologically matching mixture of pheromones, even smelling another person's skin can awaken primal deep instincts. So it can happen that for a short time our so-called reptilian brain takes over the control of our consciousness and the desire for more becomes overwhelming. What to do? A physically perceptible arousal is not necessarily a bad thing. It promises us a strong subtle energy potential, as long as we do not discharge the tension between yin and yang by an orgasmic short circuit. SEH is about the active use of the natural energetic tension resources for our inner healing, our creativity, our love and heart energy and our inner growth. First, let's remind each other about heart chakra breathing. It helps us to get out of the limited and egoistically oriented greed of the first three chakras and to center our consciousness in the heart. Here we can actively bring our loving energies into our experience by opening our heart wider and wider, perceiving the subtle energies and allowing them to flow and stream. Additionally, we can focus on our third eye and imagine breathing through it at the same time. In the shared we consciousness of the heart chakra, we already feel completely united when we embrace each other, even without penetration and physical merging. Let us love each other by experiencing SEH. Let's stay with our set boundaries. We can revise them together if necessary, if we want to experience it differently in the future.